Hello, it is Friday, March 4th, a relatively mild day here in Seoul, making us even dream of early spring. I'm Alex Jensen and these are your daily headlines. President Moon Jae-in says South Korea stands with the people of Ukraine fighting against Russia's invasion as he held telephone talks with his Ukrainian counterpart Volodymyr Zelensky, their first in around two years. This country plans to provide $10 million in humanitarian assistance to Ukraine, as well as banning exports of strategic items to Russia and joining global efforts to isolate Russian financial institutions. Amid concerns about sanctions hurting South Korean companies, the government's also providing emergency financial support worth 2 trillion won, while Trade Minister Yohan Gu travelled to the US this week to secure an exemption from America's move restricting export items involving US tech. South Korea is joining the EU, Britain, Japan and others on a list of exempted countries, with the US assessing that South Korea's sanctions against Russia are well aligned with the international standard, according to a ministry statement here. Meanwhile, the South Korean embassy in Ukraine is preparing to resume operations in Chernivsky near Romania after relocating from Kyiv, with dozens of South Korean nationals still in the war-torn nation. South Korea's daily COVID-19 infections reached a new record high earlier, topping 266,000 after only exceeding 100,000 for the first time in mid-February. But with a fatality rate of 0.22% and less than 800 COVID-19 patients currently considered critically ill, the authorities are further easing social distancing restrictions in an effort to support local businesses. From tomorrow, cafes, restaurants and various other facilities will be able to stay open an hour later until 11 p.m., although there's still a six-person cap on private gatherings. And the pull of BTS remains as strong as ever, with the Korean group selling out their four April concerts in Las Vegas before tickets even went on general sale. Official global fan club members were able to buy up all the tickets for BTS permission to dance on stage Las Vegas during a pre-sale. The group will be back in the US having performed in LA late last year for their first offline concerts since COVID-19. Well, that's it for your daily headlines for today. Check out that link below if you want to see more career-related news from our official website. But also subscribe to Career Now. We've got loads of material that we're adding all the time via this channel, and we'd love to share it with you. And we'd love you to share it with others too if you like what you see.